Hey, I thought it was a fun game. Uh, I thought we had our chances in the first half. And, you know, when you shoot uh, 13 for basically 33 from the free throw line, it's going to be hard to win and turn the ball over 22 times. But I expected some of that. Uh, we had been playing against each other the whole time, and uh, it was great to play against somebody else with referees and popcorn to see how your guys react. Uh, I, was, I was proud of how they really competed in the second half, and I think we got a chance to be pretty good down the line. Any questions? Yeah, Daryl, you guys go behind 19 and 3, but then you kind of you know, ride the ship and made it competitive after that. Kind of, what was the key to not, not getting all down when you're down? Well, I, I kept telling the guys, look, you're missing free throws and you're missing layups. We were getting good shots. I just got to be honest. I can't say anything to official if I'm on the road and I get to shoot the ball 30 times from the free throw line and we go and we make 13. That has absolutely nothing to do with the free throws. That's on my players to make free throws. And we missed about eight layups and my wing shot about 70 percent, 17 percent from the from the field. So overall, I, I feel really good about my young basketball team. Uh, I think we're big. I think we're athletic. I think we got some wings. And I think we're going to be pretty good, especially when some about conference time comes around. What were your impressions of Jimmy Witt, number 33? Well, Jimmy, Jimmy's, Jimmy's a, uh, is, a, is an old school player. Uh, he's not going to do anything he can't do. He's not going to jump up and shoot threes. Uh, he's going to try to get to the paint the same way I did as a player. He's going to try to get to the paint and operate from there. Uh, I think he's just a stabilizing force out there for Eric. Just kind of how difficult it was to get in the basketball mode after all the ceremonies and everything. Yeah, the ceremony, I thought the ceremony was just was great. I had talked to Nolan last week. Uh, made my guys Friday watch 40 minutes of hell, and so they'll know uh, who's getting on it. And I think that helped them to know who Nolan Richardson was. And uh, it was great. It, it, was, it was great. I'm glad we were able to play this game. And once again, I want to thank Hunter and Eric for, for letting us come up here and play this game. We needed, we needed a game like this. We were tired of playing against each other. And I'm sure Eric's team was tired of playing against each other. What do you think about Arkansas overall? Overall, I think Eric, Eric's going to try to figure out <laughs> When can I go small and when do I have to go big? So uh, he's going to be playing chess the whole season, trying to figure out uh, when he can go small and when he needs to stay big. And uh, you're going to see a lot of different lineups, I think, out there, and Eric's trying to figure that out. But I do like their wing players. They shoot the ball well. And if they go small and they're shooting the ball well, it's, it's going to be – it's going and, and if they can rebound the ball, it's going to be a problem for some teams in the SEC. I can, I can see that coming. If they can rebound the ball and shoot the ball pretty well from the three, it's, it's, it's going to be a problem for a few teams. Well, I, I told the young fella that uh, he got a chance to play at the next level. I told him he needed to stay in the weight room. And I told him that he, he had to learn how to pump fake, put that ball on the floor, two or three good hard dribbles, and raise up and shoot it. I said, you go, and once he does that, he's going to have a chance, a legitimate chance. He, he's on the NBA's radar already. He said when they go big. Well, the biggest guys they can put out there, Bob. Yeah, the, the, the biggest guys they can put out there, Ethan and the rest of the guys. I mean, he, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a big, a big team, and, and I know Eric, and I know he's trying to figure out what labs he can put out there to start some confusions. So, you know, when he plays Kentucky and teams like that, if they shoot the ball and they can rebound on the ball, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, how surprising was your free throw shoot? Was there any indication you guys weren't going to shoot free throws? You want to answer that one, Rand? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we. Uh, didn't shoot well last year from the free throw line, and God knows we spent a lot of time shooting free throws every day. I mean, just time and time over again shooting free throws. We're going to have to step up. My goal is to shoot between 70 and 72 percent from the free throw line. If we can do that, we'll be fine. And I'm going to say it again. Like I told my guys, you're on the road, and officials put you on the free throw line 30 times. That's on you to make the free throws. And we'll go back, we'll watch film, and then get ready to get better. It was, it was a fun game. It's good for everybody. They shot 35 threes. I mean, could you see them? That's kind of Auburn played that way. Well, let me tell you something. They, they got some guys. They got some guys that can shoot the ball. Uh, the only guy I see when they go to the perimeter that's not a great shooter, and that's Jimmy Witt. And hell, I wasn't a great shooter either. So if you don't shoot any threes, it don't hurt anything. <laughs> so uh, I, I like I like their team. And like, like I said before, if they can make shots and they can rebound the basketball, they're going to surprise some teams in the SEC. I don't know who got them picked last, but they're going to be they're going to surprise some teams. How could it feel to get the It was uh, brought back some memories. <laughs> Sully brought back some memories. Uh, this is going to always be a fun place uh, for me to come. It ain't, it ain't no barn hill, but I guess I had to play the game in here tonight. So uh, it's a great facility. It was fun. You know, it's, I go a lot of places. I could have done a lot of things in my life. I could have left Arkansas after I got drafted. Uh, I stayed here, married a lady from here at the University of Arkansas. And wherever I go, 
it's amazing how uh, where, anywhere I'm in Arkansas, people come up to me and and, and, and want to shake my hand and want to talk about how I was their favorite player or whatever. And so it's a it's a unique place. I know people talk about uh, Kentucky basketball, which it is unique. I'm not going to take that away. Kentucky's great. But I'm telling you, when Arkansas is rolling, uh, the fans are into it, and the fans, they don't forget you. They don't forget you. Any other questions? Bob, why are you taking me out to eat tonight? Uh, uh, you, turn, you got some Raptor arms now, huh? <laughs> You're like this now. You don't want to reach in your pocket now, Bob. Bob, I know you're making some money now. Tell Wally to pay you, man. Huh? Tell Wally to pay you, man.